All right, headed to uh, Tennessee this week. Got a big task ahead of us. Um, you know, really, really nice defense, really nice scheme. Obviously, Dick LeBeau is a, you know, a long time um, defensive coordinator of this league, and you know, the inventor of a lot of a lot of great defense. And uh, you know, so we're going to have our hands full. Uh, you know, something that we'll be prepared for. I think you just, you know, Tom was just talking about really targeting them, particularly with their blitzes, their fire zone package, their man package. We have to do a great job of being able to pick up all the pressures that they're going to they're gonna give us in this game. Obviously, we, you see the matchups when the teams are blitzing of who's blocking them, but how big is that for the quarterback, too, to recognize it and get it right before the center? Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's great communication between the center and the quarterback. Um, they, ha they have to be on the same page. Uh, you know, it, as long as all of us are on the same page, you know, there's there's times where there will be a guy free, and uh, but the quarterback knows that's guy that that guy's going to be free on him, and that's that's really important. If it's one of those where you know the quarterback thought one thing, the line did something different, that's not a great deal because then he'll the guy that's coming will be uh, you know he'll he won't suspect that guy. So it's important for them to communicate, be on the same page, and we've done that really well so far, and um, you know we need to con continue to do that. Is, is there a greater quantity of stuff you have to prepare for with the LeBeau defense with the different pressures and stuff they bring? Is there more to it than a regular week, or, or is it? There's, there's probably, there's probably a little bit more to it. You know, they, they, I mean, he presents so many different packages. Obviously, they're a three-four base defensive team, and you know, there's all the things that come with that. And then, you know, when they, when they end up going their nickel package, they can play it from four down. They can play it from three down. They get up those, those defensive ends that are their, their outside backers. They put them in their, as their ends, and then they'll start walking them around, moving them all kinds of different directions, and then they stun off of those packages as well. So it's going to be, you know, the big onus on us to all be targeted correctly, communicating clearly. Uh, so that we'll be able to pick it up. But it's 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 a lot of really good stuff. Did the 49er game seemed like a lot of missed opportunities when you look back on it. Like, all that, I mean, just like drop passes and all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, you know, I think I think it's something where you know we can we can look at the tape and we can see that we're improving. And we're, you know, there's things that we're working on each and every week. And you can see things that we're that we're getting better at. Um, like we said, we target we're targeting really well. Um, where you know there's there's no question about our effort and how the guys are playing. They're playing definitely hard. But you know we got to make our plays when we get opportunities to make plays. And there's a couple plays in the red zone that really changed the game, um, give us an opportunity for a couple touchdowns early, and then you know then the, the game's a lot a, a lot different. Um, you know then there was another catch to, on a big uh, third down conversion that extends another drive. Um, those are big plays that got to be made. You can go back to the first drive. You know the first drive we were making really nice plays. We're moving the ball all the way down the field. Um, and you know, when you're making those plays, you know, drives continue to get extended. So we improved in some areas. You know, we uh, were targeting well. Um, third down, you know, we, we improved in that area. And uh, but you know, continue to you know, continue to peck away each and every week. How much is the you? need to improve the pass rush? How is the pass rush affecting Jimmy Graham? Well, I mean, we're, we're trying to move the protections all over, you know, and I mean, it's definitely something that, that is a factor. You, I mean, you can see that, you know, there's there's times where we can't get the back out, we, you know, we can't get the tight end out, but, um, you know, we need the help. And so we're mixing it in. You know, we can't do it all the time because you can also, you know, throw defenses to defend against that as well. So it's something that we're mixing up. I mean, you, you saw last week we had a lot of uh, misdirection, you know, naked style plays. Um, we, you know, we had uh, a lot of play action passes as well. And then, you know, different kinds of dropbacks where, you know, everybody's out, where we got guys chipping and helping because we need to move those protections around as much as we can. Were you encouraged with the running game when you guys finished that final drive? And then in addition, when we went back and looked at it, seeing that there was a couple maybe misreads with the backs too that could have had something there too. Yeah, yeah, there was a few plays early, you know, that, that really could have changed it a little bit. You know, if we hit them a little bit different or finished or, you know, stayed up on a couple blocks as well. But, you know, really exciting the way we finished the game, um, you know, to be able to take that clock off. Um, not put the defense back out there again uh, was, I mean, was really good for us and, you know, something that we can really build on. And we've done that a few times in the preseason as well. I mean, it's, that's been something that, we, that, we've, that we've done pretty well. It's nice to have us out there on the field for a long time. We got a lot of plays in the game. Um, you know, we just didn't make enough hay on, you know, in some of those other opportunities. Again, the no huddle, or at least the up-tempo changed the results. I to drive get the touchdown. Yeah. It, how much during a game are you and Pete or the staff to, okay, do we want to do it here? How judicious are you when you put that? Yeah, there was, I mean, we're, we talk about it all the time. There was a couple other times during the game that we had, we had talked about it. Um, but we did, we sped up different tempos, you know, um, you know, the one third down conversion, I think it was a third and long that we had Darbo, you know, we sped up the tempo there on them and we were able to get a nice play out of it in a conversion. And then, but that specific drive was the whole drive. 
um, pretty much that we that we stayed in it. But our tempo was, you know, when we're moving the ball, like I said, our tempo was pretty good. We're getting out of the huddle quickly. We're getting on the line of scrimmage quickly. You can see them, you know, sometimes trying to get lined up quick enough to, you know, to match our tempo. So that improved us. You know, we imp we improved to that area because we converted third downs. We had longer drives and we could extend them. Um, but but the one drive you're talking about, we definitely changed it and stayed in it the whole the whole time. Speaking of Darbo, what have you kind of seen from him? He gets his first catch last week, and just how's he kind of fitting in? Is he playing full speed yet for you at this point? Everything. Yeah, he's continuing to improve. You know, he's uh, he's come a long way since training camp. He's he's picked up a lot of the nuances of things we're asking him to do. He can play multiple positions, I think, which really helps us. You know, a guy like Jermaine Curse that we had, you know, he he really had that position where if something happened to anybody because your numbers are so low, somebody has to be able to play all those. And and uh, Darbo's kind of taken on that role a little bit, so he can move around. Um, so that tells you about his brain and, and how well he's picked up the system. And, you know, then um, I, th I think he is playing fast. I think he's making plays. He, he had also had that uh, go ball down the left side and got a pass interference against him on that one. Um, so he's showing up. The games that you guys have really fared well against the Blitz, I think, at Arizona a few years ago, there's been other times. What has been the common thread for why you guys have been successful? There? Well, I mean, there's, there's a lot that goes into it. I mean, one, we've already talked about it. We have to target them well. Um, you know, then obviously the... You know, I can't speak to all of them, you know, but the, you know, how they're playing the back end, you know, what coverages are they playing with those pressures? Um, and then do we have the right stuff to be able to attack it when we do? And then usually it's how fast we can get the ball out. Anything else? Thanks, Coach. All right, thanks.